plant structure and functions which are the various parts of plants root stem leaves flower and fruits are parts of plants these parts of plants different plant in different we identify the plant with the help of these characteristics let us these organs in greater details formation of root this part the part grows above the soil is called plumule part this part is called plumule the part that grows from seed toward the soil is called radical this part this part called radical this part called radical root form from the radical this is formation of root root structure there are two types of root tap root and fibrous root this is called primary root this is secondary root root bear hair like structure near the tip is called root hair this is root tip root tip covered with cap like structure root tip covered with cap like structure that is called root cap this is the structure of tap root root functions absorption of water and minerals support to the plant stem grows above the soil from the plumule this part is nodes there are nodes on the stem at the node leaves comes out leaves comes out at the node the part between two nodes the part between two nodes the part between two nodes is called internode the parts between two node is called internode the apical end of the stem the apical end of the stem is called bud the apical end is called bud this is growing bud this is all parts of stem functions of stem hold the plant body carry water and minerals to the other part of plant this is functions of stem flower this is colorful part of plant this is colorful attractive part of the plant vertical section of hibiscus flower flower may have long or short stalk flower have long or short stalk is called pedicel the one end of pedicel attached to the stem one end of pedicel attached to the attached to the stem this is stem this part is called calyx this part is called calyx what is mean by calyx in bud condition petals are covered by leaf like structure called sepals petals in bud condition these petals covered by leaf like structure leaf like structure 
लिप लाइक स्ट्रक्चर ग्रीन इन कलर दैट इज कॉल्ड सेपल्स that is called this these are sepals this is sepals and this is petals this is petals this is sepals leaf like structures green in color that is called sepals sepals form calyx sepals form the calyx sepals form the calyx calyx form by sepals calyx form by sepal corolla 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 made up of colorful parts is called petals these are petals this these are petals androecium this is Mere reproductive part of flower. It consists stamen. It consists stamen. Stamen made up of stamens made up of anther and filaments. Thor. This is anther. This is this part is called anther. Filament. And this part is called filament. This part is called anther, and this part is called filaments. Gynosium. Gynosium. This is female reproductive part of flower. This is made up of carpels. Carpels consist stigma, style, and ovary. This part is called stigma. This part is called stigma. This is style. This part is called this is this part is called stigma. This part is called style, and this part is called ovary. And this part is called ovary. This part is called ovary. This is part of ovary. This is vertical section of hibiscus flower and and various part of hibiscus flower. Functions of flower to attract pollinators, make fruits, make fruits, make fruits. fruits we eat many different types of fruits its types of fruit its own different types of character mango contains only one seeds whereas jackfruit contains many seeds seeds get divided into two parts in monocot seeds seeds not divided into two parts but in dicot plants seed divided into two parts cashew fruit this is fruit and this is seed its seeds is outside the fruit this is part of fruit and this part is and this part is seed in this way we learn plant structure and their functions Thank you